Wicked, uh, Wicked, uh. Jungle is massive. Hi, and welcome to Dr. Max. This, you know what this is? This is a produce. Follow me in the studio, we open this up. Um, yep. This, the Proteus is basically the first time that we had a chance to use emulator sounds in a much affordable form factor. These were basically romplers. They could play just a handful of sounds from the emulator library, but they were very good sounds. Very good indeed. You see the Emu Proteus, or Proteus, let me know how you pronounce it down in the comments, landed in the studio where I was working when I was 18. <laughs> And when it did, our minds were blown. Because you have to imagine, up until that point, it was just synthesizers, subtractive synthesizers. There was a little bit of FM involved, but we didn't have any realistic horn sounds, or string sounds, or credible piano sounds for that matter. This changed it. I don't think that anyone wants this anymore, apart from me. And one of the reasons is M-Beat featuring General Levy, incredible. Wicked, wicked. It's all based on the Proteus. A Proteus, yes. It's got multiple outputs, MIDI. Let's connect it. I don't even have to worry about mistreating this guy because it's made of plastic. Sound number one, stereo piano. Let's see. Oh. <laughs> this is probably the world's best use of a short sample. I mean, if you just hit it once, like this, it's kind of believable. It's kind of when you play here, that. But you have to admit, this is believable for the time. And we certainly use this a lot. Let's see what's next. Whole strings. Oh, yeah. Yes. This is such a trip, man. Believable, right? Basically, for a fraction of the price, you could get the amazing sound of the emulator. 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 That's a dark note. <laughs> City Brass. Oh, yeah. There was nothing that sounded so realistic at the time. And even today, I could probably use the sample, you know, to reinforce horns. Ah, 
it's all right. Because, you know, this e sounds very, very usable. I mean, if you're into an arrangement, right, and you just go... You know, it, they were very usable. You must know this song. If you know it, you have to write the title. If you don't, I feel sorry for you. Minimog, bass. Somewhat believable. B3. This sound is called Fantasia. It's a little bit cheeky because we know what this comes from. It's pretty cool. Soundtracks. This is another lifted from the D50 doesn't sound nearly as good, but bit of delay, bit of tape, echo. This works, this doesn't. Maybe it's disabled. Master tune. Transpose, global band, oh yeah, global band, two semitones. This is so crazy, I knew exactly what to touch. I haven't touched this in 30 years. Vibe and me. I know. It's cool. It's very cool. I'm going to turn it off for a second. If you had one of these babies, this is such a trip down memory lane. Ah. Oh. I'm talking to the man in the mirror. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's not that, but it's so nasty that it could be that, couldn't it? Oh. Oh. <laughs> this reminds me of the demo, which I probably am going to play last. Heaven. the type of stuff that you find in libraries and the tag is inspirational, right? Next! French horn. Next. 
oh, this is it. This is it. If you really want it to be hip, but you couldn't afford the real horn section, right? You could actually layer this stuff on top of other fake horns and they would sound a little bit better. Yeah. Ah. Booyaka, booyaka! <laughs> now I have to do it. Louis, can you please give me some jungleist massive drums? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know some jungleist massive. Booyaka, booyaka, when the general pass. I had it at one six five. Thank you, Louis. Okay. <laughs> that was fast. Oh, yeah. I think that you should subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Come on, what else do I have to do for you to get you to subscribe to my channel? Yes? Yes. Ah, uh, thank you. I love you. Boom. Oop. You thought I forgot about the demo? I haven't. I'm also gonna jam with it.